is your showcase. Your showcase contains many of the props used in our Price is Right flaky flick, Citizen Payne. And our story begins in the fabulous, mistrouded estate of Citizen Payne, the world's most fabulous, mistrouded newspaper publisher. As the camera moves into the gates, we can almost see Citizen Payne's fabulous, mistrouded new bedroom. From Bassett Furniture, the warmth of a Stony Brook bedroom grouping, featuring the regal mattress and box springs from Bassett. Yes, it is in his new bedroom that we see Citizen Payne clutch his trick knee and die, uttering a word, a fabulous, mistrouded word, rose, 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 rose something or other, we're not quite sure what. The next day, the world learns of Citizen Payne's death by one of the tricky, twirling newspapers that the movies always use. And Rolling Cough Magazine sends reporter Janice Pennington to find out what actually was the last word of Citizen Payne. Days later, Janice interviews the maid. Obviously, not a very good maid in view of the fact that Citizen Payne is still lying in the bed. Janice asks, what was that word that began rose something? Oh, says the maid, Mr. Payne was a great football fan, so he must have been talking about his tickets to the Rose Bowl game. Yes, a pair of tickets to the Rose Bowl. Watch the Pacific A's and Big Ten Football Conference champions collide in the 1978-64th annual Rose Bowl. Dissatisfied with the maid's reply, Janice decides to probe further and interviews the ex-wife of Citizen Payne, who is sitting down and out in a ratty bar. So you want to know what Citizen meant when he said Rose something, says the ex-wife. He must have meant the place we spent our honeymoon, the Rose Gardens in England. <laughs> we'll fly two of your round trip air coast from Los Angeles to London, England, where you spend one week at the Royal Garden, a luxurious rank hotel just 10 minutes from Piccadilly, where Royal is as Royal does. Five-star deluxe from the lobby to the famous Royal Roof restaurant, the Royal Garden. Janice next meets with Payne's chauffeur, and asks what he thinks Rose whatever means. Ah, oh, yes, says the chauffeur. Mr. Payne was no doubt referring to his vessel, the SS Rose Boat. <laughs> Barnacle Bills presents the Avenger Ski Boat, 16 feet, 7 inches of fun, speed, excitement with bucket seats, marine shag carpeting, mechanical steering, and positive flotation from Barnacle Bills. And you can power your boat with the Mercury 1150. A 115 horsepower engine with Thunderbolt ignition for quick, easy starting. Built with rugged dependability by Mercury Marine. And trail your boat on the American trailer. Rugged structural steel provides maximum support and safety on the highways from the American Trailer and Manufacturing Company. Confused and no closer to the answer than before, Janice returns to the estate to bid goodbye to the maid who was burning some of Citizen Payne's personal effects. Oh, by the way, said Janice, I noticed that Citizen Payne had newspaper ink all over his hands when he died. What was that all about? Oh, he just didn't get a chance to wash it off before he died. He used an ointment or lotion of some kind. I don't remember what it was called. And this Flaky Flick Showcase can be yours if the price is right. <laughs>